Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus lines. Um, this is the second time I'm doing your reading. My fault. I accidentally, I guess, uploaded the Scorpio video for the Capricorn video. And then not just that, like, um, I accidentally deleted the, the Capricorn video that I did before. Which I'm pretty upset because it was, like, pretty lit. But, you know, I don't believe in coincidences. Everything happens for a reason, so... That just, I guess, wasn't the message that was meant for you, Capricorn. So we're going to go ahead and do this over. We have the, the main challenge here in the center. These four Work Your Light Oracle cards are going to um, represent the outside influences that is directly affecting you and the person you're connecting with. And these four major arcanas are going to represent the challenge. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify what the... Um, Universal Celtic Tarot, and then I'll go ahead and throw um, a Dragon Oracle at the end, and then I'm going to read from the book, because the messages are just very strong, and I, I'd rather read those from the book. Let's get into your reading. We have Investigate. Look closely, ask questions, and think before acting. So... What I'm getting here, first of all, there have probably, probably, look at that, probably <laughs> been a lot of um, impulse um, actions lately. Mars did just turn direct in Aries, so um, possibly a lot of temper tantrums, a lot of miscommunication. Um, Mercury is in Scorpio, so a lot of... Um, digging deep and shedding relationships, shedding different types of um, ideas, and just um, really embracing that shift. Um, and while we're going through these shifts and we're going through these ascensions, um, we tend to withdraw from our connections. And this could have been, um, this could have been quickly and drastically. And like I said, the, uh, with, um, Mars direct and Aries, um, either you or your person did not take too kindly to this. Okay. We have Mintakian longing for home, belonging to the original light workers. Somebody is definitely, um, <clears throat> somebody definitely ha has a throat chakra problem. <laughs> I'm... Since I started meditating on your cards, my throat chakra just wanted to close. I even had to do my mantras like buff before I started this reading. And as I continue to go on into this reading, my throat chakra keeps wanting to close. So somebody really needs to speak their truth. Um, what I'm Also, the energy that I'm getting from here is um, someone, either you or your person... There is a, fami a familiarity here, and s the saying, home is where the heart is, right? You feel like home, Capricorn. Either you or your person feels that way. Maybe you both. Yeah, <laughs> just say yes. Just say yes. You know that this person is... Um, There is a dramatic calling of energy here. And I want to say that with Investigate, there's a big-ass stubbornness on both sides. You could be dealing with another earth sign because I feel um, a lot of earthy uh, energy here. Um, maybe a Taurus, may maybe a fellow Capricorn, maybe a Virgo. But there's... There's a lack of wanting to take action. I don't know if that's you or your person, but there, yeah, there's a stagnation here of, of, of pursuing something passionately. All right, so your person has Irama. Where are you being called to journey? Now, this could be a travel card, but it could also be um, just a, a, like, a, like a soul journey. Both of you guys could be 
in the middle of an, as an ascension, and that's why there is um, this feeling of stagnation or this feeling that um, you're not moving forward. Yeah, the Council of Light, divine, orch divine orchestration, and helpers in subtle realms. You guys are being divinely guided here. Both of you guys have um, guides, um, angels, ancestors on either side that are guiding you guys back together. Okay, the challenge here, uh, taking a leap of faith. We have the Fool here, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces energy. There's, there's a lack of motivation. And it, it, I, I don't understand because... Um, like, even in the the energy in this card, like, you could see how starry-eyed this person is to you, or you are to this person, and yet there is a lack of action. Um, and it's, it's bringing about um, a choice here with the lover's card, Gemini energy. Um, either someone is going to make a investigative choice and decide to leave this situation or an impulsive choice. Either way, um, I feel like a choice is going to be made here because either you or your person is really tired of the stagnation. Yeah. There, there's someone manifesting here. Uh, more Gemini energy here. Virgo as well. I knew that I felt some type of earthy energy around here. But... Your person's trying to manifest something big. And let me tell you, your person, they have they have people on their side. <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. And and they're and they're this is what they're manifesting. They're manifesting they're manifesting their justice in this situation. Okay. Let's clarify. You know what's funny, Capricorn, is that the more I look at these cards and the more, like, the energy just starts to kind of seep through, the more it just kind of centers to this investigate card where someone just feels so overwhelmed with the situation that it's like, they're being called to give up on it. They're being called to give up. Whether that's you, Capricorn, or your person, I can't um, I can't say, but someone is definitely being called to give up. Tell me about Investigate. Yeah. Crossing Energy. You have the Page of Swords um, and the Star card. So a strong Aquarius energy here. Um, but someone is spying on you. They're spying on you be and trying to make this final decision on whether they want to heal, I want to say whether they want to heal this situation or not. Because they realize that you are a divinely guided soulmate. They know this. That's why they're in this um, regretful, almost like Five of Cups energy. Because they don't know if they want to let this go. And to, to me, I'm getting no. They don't want to let their star go. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. This could be how they view you, that you're the healing light or you're their healing star. You could have a an Aquarius placement somewhere in your um, chart as well. Tell me about longing for home. Yeah. Someone blocked someone. Or someone feels energetically blocked. I don't think that there's necessarily an internet blockage or like text messages or anything like that. Like anything that has to do with that type of communication, it's still very much open. That's why the Page of Swords um, showed up here as a crossing energy because this person is still very much spying on you. And and you know this. That's why. That's why you. That's why you keep this 
um, person unblocked because you know that they're still watching you, you or spying on you or whatever it might be. Can you tell me about yes? What does Capricorn need to say yes to? Oh, okay. <laughs> Crossing energy, the king of cups. Could be dealing with um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You could have this in your chart, but this is who you are called to say yes to. Crossing energy, the full card. Yeah, this, this is who... This is who your guides want you to take a leap of faith with. Yeah. But there, there's something blocking it. There's a, a third-party situation blocking it. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be a situation. Um, and if it is a person, it doesn't necessarily have to be a... Um, uh, like another lover, per se. It could be someone in the family. It could be a parental figure. It could be siblings. It could be anybody who has an opinion that really shouldn't have an opinion. To be honest... Okay. Tell me about Irama. Yeah. The Seven of Pentacles is the crossing energy here. So this is a divine timing card, but this is also watching your seeds um, start to bloom and really take on this rotation. Um, you're seeing the fruits of your labor, literally. With, But there's some, like I said, there's still something like under wraps that's not quite um, either A, adding up, or B, just um, intuitively, you're being told to to hold off. It could be, um, I'm also getting Eight of Swords energy, so it could possibly be you, stopping you from taking this leap of faith forward because of um, being stuck in your head. Alec, when I start talking again, I don't want you to make those noises, okay? Okay. Thank you. Tell me about Council of Light. Mm, the Queen of Wands. This is the crossing energy. Oh. He could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo Sag Aries, but if you are... Um, or if you were in a third party situation because the, um, the Three of Cups did come out in the upside um, down the, and the crossing energy of divine orchestration is that your, um, either you or your person's guides have guided you to, to end a third party situation. Um, possibly blocking out this Queen of Wands figure, whoever that may be to you. It can, okay, just because I have to give the messages how it is, it can represent the other woman, okay? The Queen of Wands is usually the main representation of the other woman. But like I said, this is a crossing energy over um, helpers in the subtle realms, and it did come out after the Three of Cups upside down, which is telling me that this person is, is either of A, very little influence, or B, just completely um, cut out at this point. Talk to me about the full for Capricorn, please. Tell me about the full card, please. There you are. Yeah. Yeah, something was an ending that was supposed to come to an end. That's why this was a, this was in a stagnant, um, stagnant position. There was some type of unfinished business with this third party and this Queen of Wands energy. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah. Some of, somebody's blocking um, a passionate new beginning. 
because there is a missed opportunity here. Like the four cups and upside on the upside down, usually um, the universe is giving you a gift, and you know, in the ri original right away tarot, he ca he's not even looking at it. It's almost like a mirage or, or an illusion that's hanging right above his head because it's too um. It, they're, they're just too too sad or too stuck in their head to really see what's going on in front of them. So um, the energy coming out in the upside down is telling me that, no, they're not. They're, they're taking their cup. <laughs> you see that? They're taking their cup. They're holding their cup. They understand that this is the Ace of Cups and this is a gift from the universe. They're not going to let it pass them by. And with the High Priestess upside down, you're going to hear about it sooner than later. Tell me about the magician. Okay. Yeah, because there is there is a brand new perspective. The hangman and um, upside down. This is Pisces energy. Usually, when it's upside down, you're waiting. I mean, when when it's right side up, you're waiting. But it's upside down, so like you can see, you can, it doesn't even look like he's hanging hanging in that tree anymore. It looks like he's doing a balancing act, and what he's holding is a new perspective. Yeah, and the new perspective has to um, crossing energy, two of wands, no um, no more indecision. Tell me about the justice card. Ooh, ooh. Okay, where are you going? Oof. All right, the devil popped out. That's the crossing energy. And then upside down is the, uh, we got the six of swords upside down. So this is telling me that someone was very, very stuck. And bound it to this, to this, um, to this energy. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Okay. So some, okay, bless you. Somebody was, um, lacking healing in this, in this relationship. So with the Four of Swords up, upside down. I want to say that someone took a sudden break, just like, okay, um, pulling my energy out. And it, it may have came as a bit of a tower moment and caused um, some toxic traits um, to come out a certain, either you or your person, Capricorn. I know the deck you have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here. Someone, yeah, somebody, somebody, um, okay, hold on. Let me start over. Because the Queen of Swords, this is a recently divorced person, right? Or recently separated. So this is, I want to say this is the energy that probably your person is embodying right now. Like this Ice Queen um, energy. Yeah. Even though it's it's very obvious that you guys are soulmates. They feel the soulmate energy, but they're withdrawn anyways. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But the truth is, you both of you guys know that you're each other's wish fulfillment. Because we have the Queen of Cups here. Now we have the King and the Queen of Cups. We have the true court pair and the crossing energy is the fool so you guys are being divinely guided back to each other because bo this is literally your guys's wish come true some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant mm -hmm. i'm gonna wrap this up any advice for Capricorn for December 2020 based on the spread. Yeah. Ooh, the orange dragon. It's my favorite one. Okay. We have orange dragon brings soul families and communities together. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people and Oh, bring people everywhere together. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me read from the book. 
your guidance message is when you pick this card your guidance is to see the divine light in everyone look for the bonds that link you the orange dragons will help you to spread the light of warmth welcome and acceptance to all people's races and cultures let that light shine through you you will feel a sense of belonging and oneness your heart will open this will help you to, to develop your abilities of higher manifestation when you visualize the peoples and animals of the world coming together in harmony and acceptance, orange dragons will flood your vision with their light. Archangel Metatron himself will then take it to energize the plan for Earth. So hold the highest vision for the golden age that is being prepared and do your part to bring your community and the world into spiritual accord. This message is of higher peace. You're being divinely guided to your divine counterpart. Whether um, this is your your uh, twin flame or not, I kind of don't feel twin flame energy, to be honest. Because uh, twin flame energy is, like, really intense and you get really hot and you, like, sweat and stuff. It's pretty gross. Um, <laughs> but you do have your divine counterpart here. You got the king and queen of cups. And if anybody could bring love to a situation to bring the community together, who better than the king and queen of cups? All right, Capricorn. I hope this helped. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.